Welcome back to I Didn't Know. Today we'll be looking at the life and music of the extraordinary and incredibly talented Ed Sheeran. Let's get started. Number 10, Unraveling Ed's Roots. Behind the global sensation known as Ed lies a full moniker, Edward Christopher Sheeran. This choice of a condensed stage name now makes perfect sense. While his upbringing happened in Suffolk and his parents were originally Londoners, the tapestry of Ed Sheeran's heritage is interwoven with Irish threads. His paternal grandparents were from Ireland, a fact that undeniably influenced his music. His Irish ancestry shines through in his hit song Galway Girl, a heartfelt tribute to his family roots. He has often shared how childhood summers, Christmases, and birthdays spent in Ireland, filled with traditional music, shaped his musical journey. Journey. Number 9. Ed's Early Music Journey the melodic journey of Ed Sheeran, the man behind the Number 6 Collaborations project, took off at an impressively young age. At just four years old, he was already part of a local church choir, and his hands were soon creating music on the piano and guitar. High school saw his creative flair burgeoning into songwriting, and by the age of 13, he started recording. His schoolmates foresaw his fame, voting him the most likely to be famous. The trajectory of his career really took shape with his independent release of 10 EPs, including the Orange Room and Want Some, before his debut single, The A-Team. Number 8, Ed's Unwavering Persistence. In the aftermath of his music college graduation, Ed Sheeran found himself grappling with financial instability as his grant ran out. Despite his concerts occasionally drawing a sparse crowd of five people, Ed relentlessly chased his dream. A testament to his dedication, he went from sleeping on streets, London underground trains, and friend sofas to becoming a global icon with a net worth of over $100 million. The struggles of his early career fueled the lyrics for his song Homeless and serve as a stark reminder of his incredible journey from hardship to stardom. Number 7. Jamie Foxx, Ed's Hollywood Guardian Angel. Back in 2009, Ed Sheeran was tenaciously playing over 300 gigs in live shows, trying to break through the music industry's formidable barriers. It wasn't until 2010 when his talent caught the eye of Jamie Foxx at the Foxhole. Foxx was so enamored with Ed's performance that he provided him with his Los Angeles recording studio and even a place to sleep at his Hollywood home. This experience sparked a newfound confidence in Ed. I must have something, he reflected. The return to England saw him energized, independently releasing EPs and setting tours, marking the beginning of his ascension to international stardom. Number 6. Ed's Battle with Mental Health. In an unfamiliar filtered interview with Rolling Stone in 2023, Ed Sheeran publicly confronted his struggles with depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts from 2022. The loss of his best friend, Jamal Edwards, coupled with his wife, Cherry's tumor diagnosis, had plunged him into a profound emotional crisis. I felt like I didn't want to live anymore, and I have had that throughout my life. You're under the waves drowning, he confessed. It was the creation of his upcoming album, Subtract, that offered a lifeline. Writing songs became his coping mechanism, helping him navigate navigate through his tumultuous feelings and find a path towards recovery. Number 5. The Power of Unexpected Friendships Would you believe Ed Sheeran bunked with none other than Monica Geller from Friends? In 2013, Ed found himself at Courtney Cox's house party, and due to the remote location, he ended up staying the night. Their bonding was so strong that Courtney offered Ed a place to live in her Malibu home free of charge. But Courtney isn't the only superstar Ed shares a bond with. His friendship with Taylor Swift is so tight, he even tattooed red on his arm a tribute to the album they co-wrote. Ed views Taylor's influence as a pivotal door opener in his career, marking a significant phase in his musical journey. Number 4. The Bieber Golf Incident The world of celebrities isn't devoid of occasional mishaps, and Ed Sheeran's accidental golf club swing at Justin Bieber's face stands testimony to this. While vacationing in Japan, a slightly inebriated Ed agreed to Bieber's dare of knocking a golf ball out of his mouth, leading to a direct hit on Bieber's cheek. In Ed's words, it was one of those bewildering bewildering, what the F moments, it's a hilarious anecdote that adds a layer of humor to Ed's often intense and passionate musical world, proving that even global superstars can have their share of amusing goof-ups. Number 3. The Fresh Prince Fan Ed Sheeran's affinity for the iconic 90s sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air knows no bounds, so much so that he got Prince inked on his arm, marking his love for the show. This happened during his 2013 tour with Rizzle Kicks, who also embraced the show's spirit through their respective tattoos. Not just a passive admirer, Ed can rap the entire theme song of the show, a feat he proved in an MTV interview. As for his favorite movie, Ed admits to being a fan of Goodfellas and the underdog story Cool Runnings. Number 2. A Potterhead and Penguin Lover 
With an undeniable coolness and an affable personality, Ed Sheeran is quite the character. This British-Irish singer isn't just about music, he's also a fan of Harry Potter. When BuzzFeed queried about his Hogwarts house, he was quick to dismiss Slytherin's pure-blood ideologies and deemed Ravenclaw as possibly too smart. He found Gryffindor a little too courageous for his taste. Instead, Ed found himself aligning with Hufflepuff, the house best known for its loyalty and sincerity. Despite his past challenges, from sleeping on streets to heartbreak, Ed's spirit remains unbroken, showcasing the resilience that's made him the cherished artist he is today. Number 1. The Songwriting Conspiracy Theory Here's a thrilling conspiracy theory about Ed Sheeran. Did he write all his songs, or did he take a page out of the movie Yesterday? The theory suggests that Ed, mysteriously, became the only person who remembers a specific band and took advantage of the situation by claiming their music as his own. It's hard not to wonder, how did he manage to have an impressive 14 songs simultaneously on the UK Top 15? The theory humorously hints at a grand artistic heist behind Ed's monumental success. Is it just a playful speculation or is there a grain of truth in it? Who knows? There you have it, 10 amazing Ed Sheeran facts that you probably didn't know. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into your favorite stars. Thank you for watching.